In this chapter, it's particularly important that the automatic language pilot kicks in, as you don't want to have to think every time you make a statement negative. And as you saw, it matters where you put the nicht. On the positive side, German's a lot easier than English when it comes to saying no, so with a bit of practice you'll soon be able to say no like a German, politely, directly and without fuss. As a matter of fact, you've probably already mastered this to an extent without realising it, as you've already been speaking a fair bit of German, including saying no, purely by imitation. Remember, this is the way we learn our own language when we grow up. Our grammatical explanations just try to speed things up by drawing your attention to the rules so you can apply them and construct language with the rational part of your brain. A seemingly simple thing like saying no takes a fair amount of brain, so look after your little grey cells. Let's give them a bit of a workout then, do some verbal push-ups, lift some sentences and jog our memories. Yes, and what I should add is that training our minds can be at least as playful and fun as training our bodies. It's really up to you how you approach this, but as always we're going to give you a bit of a hand in how to make language learning not only rewarding, but also enjoyable. Say nay, make my day. In this game, you're allowed to revert to your childhood, to that obnoxious phase where you contradict your parents no matter what. Only now, your learning partner is bearing the brunt of it. By the way, we have a wonderful composite noun for that in German called... Der Widerspruchsgeist. Anyway, your very positive partner makes a lot of statements and proposals to you about anything really, from what to do to what the weather is like, and you contradict him or her by agreeing to absolutely nothing. So if he or she says, Das Wetter ist schön heute, you disagree by saying, Nein, das Wetter ist heute nicht schön. Willst du Tennis spielen? Nein, ich will nicht Tennis spielen. Deine Eltern sind nett. Nein, meine Eltern sind nicht nett. Make sure to swap roles before he or she throttles you. Also, write down the negative sentences, as we'll use them later for another game. He's a real nowhere man, sitting in his nowhere land, making all his nowhere plans for nobody. This game is a race through the land of the negative. In each round, you and your partner have to make up and write down a set of five sentences, each containing one of the following negation words. Nicht, kein, nie, niemand, nichts. The sentences can be really simple, as long as they're grammatically correct. So your set might look like this. Ich fahre nicht nach Brisbane. Ich habe kein Geld. Ich gehe nie ins Kino. Ich sehe niemanden. Ich kaufe nichts. Don't forget that kein and niemand take the same endings as ein. As soon as one of you has finished the set, he or she yells out, nicht, and you both have to stop writing immediately. Any unfinished sentences don't count. You now judge together whether the sentences are correct, and I'm sure you'll be able to do that without too much fighting. For every correct sentence, you get a point. For every wrong sentence, you get a point subtracted. You therefore have to find the balance between taking more time and constructing fewer sentences, or rushing and getting some of them wrong. Naturally, you're not allowed to repeat any sentences as the game progresses. By the way, any mistake counts even for getting to capitalize a noun. So try to be quick but precise. Schön nicht? Enough of the negative and competitive. In this next practice, you'll turn something negative into something positive. There are a lot of words that we perceive as being negative simply by their content. Words like hate, ugly, anger, dirty, etc. So by negating them, we're really expressing something positive. And that's what I'd like you to do in this game. In the reversal of the last game, your partner has to make a positive statement with a negative word, which you turn into a positive statement by negating it. Do you follow me? So your partner says, for example, Ich hasse Sprachen. Er ist dumm. Das Haus ist hässlich. Ugly. Deine Schuhe sind schmutzig. You now negate these statements by saying, Ich hasse Sprachen nicht. Er ist nicht dumm. 
Das Haus ist nicht hässlich. Deine Schuhe sind nicht schmutzig. In the second part of the game, both of you now try to negate by replacing the negative word with its positive equivalent, so that you'd get... Ich liebe Sprachen. Er ist intelligent. Das Haus ist schön. Das Haus ist interessant. Deine Schuhe sind sauber. It's interesting to see in how many cases you can replace the word nicht by using a contrasting word. And of course this means that it also works the other way around. More often than not you can just use the contrasting equivalent of a word instead of nicht to make a negative statement. And that brings us to our last game. Never say never again. Return to the first game and to all the negative sentences you wrote down. Now try to find a way to replace the negation particles nicht and kein, etc., by using a contrasting way of saying the same or sufficiently similar thing. Let's return to the examples we gave you before. Nein, das Wetter ist nicht schön. That could be transformed by saying... Nein, das Wetter ist schlecht. Nein, meine Eltern sind nicht nett. This could be changed by saying... Nein, meine Eltern sind unfreundlich. Unkind or... Launisch. Moody or... Böse. Cranky, angry. Nein, ich will nicht Tennis spielen. This could be rephrased as... Nein, ich will lieber Fußball spielen. Well, there are many ways to skin a cat. And often we're not really aware of what we're actually saying, like in this proverb. Look up its origin on the web page you see on your screen. Learning another language always makes you more aware of what you do in your own, and you can therefore improve it, too, along the way.